Oh, my dreams, you'll never believe what's coming. Oh, the Great Western Road, original film footage from 1921, a Gleska's swankiest boulevard. Oh, imagine the delights of the banter, frozen in celluloid. Oh, absolutely. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, we can't go. Has it been and went? No, but the picture house is in Edinburgh. Oh, <laughs> yuck. Edina, Scotia's midden seat. Capital in name only. One great big dirty wet blanket of a place full of tacky rock shops and saunas punting horn relief. Aye, ah, those Edinburghians are all though an aloof and superior by no half as friendly as your Glesky Keeley. Oh, they're absolute head the balls. <laughs> we'll not be travelling through there. Indeed we will not be going through there, Gary. As the banter puts it, you'll have mere fun at a Glesky stabbing than an Edinburgh wedding. Too true, James. Too true. Oh, driver, how do you think that Scottish Parliament's getting on? Right, a hot air show. 150 million hour budget. <laughs> See these MSPs, they don't know what they're talking about. It's a load of Barry, so it is. Barry? Barry White, shite. <laughs> what a belter. Here, listen. What do you think Scotland will do in the football that's coming up the new? Oh, I the other bastards. And all that is doing what they've done in other years since 19 canteen. Here, mind you, that Alan McCoy, sorry, eh? He'd find a clink him and go up there, Sam, and farts rubies that boy, so he does. Yeah, see that question of sport? See that Sue Barker? She would suck the face off him if she got a minute, so she would. Here, pull in, that'll do us. All right. There you are, my friends. That's uh, £43. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Just know where he's getting? I know. Here, there's a hundred. Don't get changed, you a hundred. Oh, hang the chains. We're only paying for the banter. Oh, do you love it? A genuine Rennie Macintosh tea strainer, if you will. Oh, Gary, it's an utter dully and totally tosh. Oh, may we, James, and I trust you'll be coming round for your tea in the Glesky style. Does the Pope wear a mitre? <laughs> now, tell me, Gary, where'd you pick it up at some little antiques fair? Indeed, I did not, James. I picked it up doing the barrels. Oh, the barrels. Well, it was tagged at £90, but I managed to haggle the stall holder down to 85 well, that's the beauty of the barrows. And he threw in an anthology of Robbie Burns love poetry. Oh, I love Robbie Burns. I thought murdered policeman, what a bargain. Oh, and the stall holder, a real Glasgow man. A Glasgow ticket. Absolutely, full of the banter. In fact, as he wrapped him, he looked me straight in the eye and said, I saw you coming. Oh, the Glasgow banter doing the barrows. Oh, James, I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, Gary, at last. I was sitting in all my Jack Jones and thought you were giving me a pure rubber diggy. <laughs> oh, you dancer. Oh, I was running a hint myself. Had to get a track, sir. <gasps> a Joseph K. Baxi. Oh, the very same. What a hoot. Oh, and the taxi driver. Well, what a Glasgow man. A Glasgow Jimmy. Full of the banter. Non-stop. Sitting in the back there, I could hardly make a word out. But the ebb and flow of his phrasing was absolutely delightful. Ah, well, that's your taxi pattern for you. Aye. Well, the general thrust of it was fit bar, the Rangers and the Celtic. Ah, oh, the Glasgow fit bar, eh? The Blues versus the Greens. Tell me, Gary, which was he? A dandy Ranger or a battling Celtic? Well, James, that I couldn't tell, but he was very, very nice indeed. At one point, he called me his honey. No. Oh, I tried to tip him, but he just threw it back and said, keep it, Hans. Ah, oh, the famous taxi banter of the Glasgow Jimmy.